I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at booze. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Cordy and this is Creative on the Cheap where I like to do budget friendly DIYs and home decor. So today I am bringing you four DIYs using my stash. I will say this, a lot of DIY YouTubers, we do chat with each other. We, a lot of us are friends with each other and all of us are trying um, to bring you basically the same goal. We are trying to just continue to provide a sense of normalcy for you guys by putting out content, showing you that you can find stuff around your house to use. And when you can't find what we might have, giving you other suggestions. So today's video is one of those. I'm participating in another video next Wednesday that will be a use your stash, lots of inspiration of things to do. So I'm super excited that the YouTube DIYers have kind of pulled together and we're really trying hard to hopefully give you some creative inspiration. If you didn't know, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter. I've been extremely active on Instagram. So if you want a daily dose of me and to interact with me more, follow me over there at Creative on the Cheap. And I guess that's it. You guys know the drill. When you're done watching this DIY, let me know your favorite down below. And without further ado, let's get into today's DIYs. For this first DIY, I went digging around and pulled one of these signs that I had left over from Dollar Tree along with this 2020 calendar that I also picked up from Dollar Tree that I apparently have never opened. So what I'm going to do is start by taking the glitter off of my sign. You guys know my trick. I'm just going to spray it with some Goo Gone, scrape it off, but I am going to end up actually putting my picture over where the glitter is. I just don't want there to be a bunch of texture. So once I get the glitter off of the sign, I will go ahead and flip through my calendar and try to pick out which picture I want to use. This is the picture I ended up choosing and now what I'm doing is just spraying my sign with some of the Gorilla Glue repositional spray that I use. It is always linked down below if you guys are wondering what it is. And I'm just going to set this down over the top and then I'm going to flip it over and just take an X-Acto knife and trim it. I went ahead and just did it this way instead of tracing around it and then cutting it out. I figured I could get rid of one step by doing it this way and it worked out fine. Now that it's all secure, because this is a calendar page, it does have that hole at the top. So I just took some Waverly ink chalk paint and just painted in the little black circle. And when you put the sign up, honestly, you can't even tell. So it worked out great. Now I'm ready to start working on the embellishments that I want to add to my sign. So I'm going to go make my two go-to felt flowers. I have done in-depth tutorials on how to make both of these. So I will link that video down below, but I'll give a quick recap right now. For the first flower, you just want to start with a circle and then starting at the edge, you just cut around in a spiral till you get to the center of the flower. For the second one, you're going to fold your circle in half, make a little snip in the center of the circle and then start cutting little scallops going all the way around until again you hit the edge of the circle and that's it. Like I said, this is just a quick recap. Click the link down below if you want a more detailed description on how to do these. 
So here are all my felt pieces all cut up. Now we're gonna start with the flower that we just did a straight spiral cut. So where you started cutting is where you're gonna start rolling it and you're just gonna roll it onto itself until you get it all the way down to the middle and then just secure it with some hot glue. Once you have secured this with hot glue, this one is ready to go. For the scallop flower, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to start rolling where you finished your cutting, if that makes sense. So don't start in the middle where, because on that one you did start cutting in the middle. I hope I'm not confusing you, but you wanna start rolling where your last cut was made. I hope that makes sense. And then same thing, you just wanna secure it with some hot glue. I decided I wanted to spruce up some of my felt flowers, so I'm just finishing this one up, and then I grabbed my crazy uh, drawer full of buttons and beads, and honestly, after I did this DIY, this DIY inspired one that you're gonna see in just a minute, because this thing was crazy, and I don't know what's even in it, but what I decided to do is take a few of the little pearls, I added some of those to these pretty felt flowers, and then these little burlap and lace uh, embellishments were things I picked up from Dollar Tree a long time ago, and I liked them, but I did not like the lace, and I realized, oh look, you can just rip the lace right off, no issues, it doesn't damage the burlap part of the flower, so that that was a win-win. And then I just took a little button to add a little bit of character to these burlap flowers. It's the last step. So now it's just going to be attaching all of my embellishments to the sign. So I add a little button here to put in the center of the camera and then I'm just gonna arrange my flowers how I want them to go. I did make these little tiny turquoise ones. You'll see me set down for a minute, but I don't end up using them because they, I don't know, I just didn't like them. But anyway, I'm just gonna attach these with some regular old hot glue, get the button in the center of the camera attached with hot glue, and then this sign is done. I'm not putting a hanger on it, and I actually made this for my friend to cheer her up. So it's going to my neighbor and my friend Emily, who, um, yeah, was super excited to get it. So I was happy to bring a smile to her face. DIY, I will be using this pizza pan from Dollar Tree that I have had in my stash for a really long time, so I'm excited to finally be using it. And then I've got this piece of canvas fabric left over from my project. I'm gonna set my pizza pan down on top of the fabric. I'm not gonna trace around it with a pencil or anything. I'm just gonna wing it and take my scissors and cut around the pizza pan, allowing about an inch to an inch and a half of an allowance all the way around the pizza pan. Oh look, here's some fabric and it's wrinkled. So what am I going to do? I'm going to use my wrinkle spray because why? I don't like irons. I'm sure you guys could totally answer those questions because it's the truth. So I sprayed my wrinkle spray and then I just um, sat here and worked on it. And honestly, when I was doing this, I'm like, hey, I'm working on pizza dough. I think I like temporarily lost my mind. I was like, yeah, look at me. I could probably make homemade pizza, but whatever. Anyway, I digress. So I'm gonna press this out and then once this is all dry. I'm going to attach it back to my pizza pan. Now the beauty of this project, which I was really excited about, is because um, this is going to be a multi-seasonal project and I'll tell you how it turns out that way in just a minute. But again, this is all dry now so I'm going to take some of my adhesive spray. I'm going to spray the back of the pizza pan and then set my circle, press it down. Then I will go around the rim and spray it and then press down the fabric into the rim. And then I'll flip it over and just spray and pull the edges of the fabric down. Now, if you don't like ugly backs then this project, you're gonna have to maybe add a piece of felt to the back if you want to cover up. You can do that if you want to. Normally I do finish off my backs, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna live on the wild side and not finish off the back on this one. Once that's finished, I'm ready to start working on the beads. Okay. 
I'm going to take 43 of these 20 millimeter beads and paint them with the dark brown cream wax that I have from Hobby Lobby. Once they are all painted, I am ready to string them up with a piece of twine. Now this is where this project will be multi-seasonal. I am gonna string these up, however, I'm not gonna secure these beads to my tray because what I can do is I can change out the color of beads with different holidays. So if I wanted to do a patriotic one, I could do red and blue beads, or I could do red and green beads for Christmas, or orange and brown. So that is how I'm gonna make this multi-seasonal and um, be able to change it out. So again, it's 20 millimeter size beads and there are 43 of them. Once the beads are all on the twine, I'm just going to tie a double knot to finish it off. And then the little tails that I have left over, I'm just gonna tuck them back into the beads. And that's it. These beads sit nicely on the little divot on this pizza pan. It works great. And again, you can change out the beads for all the different holidays. DIY is the DIY that was inspired by my crazy button drawer. So this is a thrift find box that I got from Goodwill quite a while ago. It was like $1.99 I think. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by painting the lid white. And then once that is dry, I'm going to paint the edges and the inside of the box with a mix of paint. I'm going to use the agave and white together to kind of make a soft teal color. And I'll go ahead and give that not two nice coats around the sides, the bottom and inside the box. Once the box is all painted, I went ahead and unscrewed the lid from the top. It was just held in with these little tiny screws um, that were a pain to get out, I'm not gonna lie. And then I took some of my good old fashioned adhesive spray and sprayed the top of it. And then I found this fabric in my daughter's craft stash. Luckily she loves to craft and she actually has a really nice stash. So I may be going to visit her craft area uh, for the next few DIYs. But I thought this fabric was really cute. It was just something different with color and that's just kind of what I wanted. And what I'm trying to do over these next few DIYs is just infuse some color here and there. Then once this was all done, as you can see, it was kind of ugly folded in. So I took a piece of cardboard and covered it with some fabric. And then I'm just gonna hot glue this to the inside of the box, making sure that I could still close the lid. Now, if you don't have a box like this, guys, no worries. Get a shoe box, get a shipping box, get a cereal box, just get any kind of box, make a box out of popsicle sticks. I don't know, get your creative juices flowing. I'm sure you can figure something out, but I just really love the colors of this. And then my last step was to add a little handle. I had this handle left over from a project that I ditched and decided not to do. And I actually sent a text message to my friend Kristen from Kristen K. I was like, I need help. I'd been overthinking it for like two hours. Do I put the handle on top or on the front? Top or front? She said front. I was kind of thinking the front. So thank you, Kristen, for helping me out there. I put the handle on the front. And then here is where my beads and my buttons are gonna go. And I do end up actually going in and organizing my buttons into these little plastic clear bags that I have. And it's just much easier to see what I have. I The box is bigger, it works out great. And it looks really cute on my shelf if I do say so myself. This last DIY is super, super easy and it kind of has a daily meaningful purpose and I'll share that in a minute. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna break down this sign. I got it at Goodwill a while back. I'm just gonna take the clip off and then I was kind of surprised. I was able just to peel the scrapbook paper off. It was sealed on there. I was able to peel it off. However, the word family uh, was a little harder so I just scraped it off but it actually came off really easily. 
Then once I got the word family all scraped off, I went into my five seasons scrapbook pack and picked something colorful and cheerful. And then I just attached a piece of scrapbook paper using my Gorilla Glue adhesive, adhesive spray. Again, this is removable, so I'll be able to pull this paper off if I wanna change it for the seasons. Put the clip back on. And what this thing's purpose is this. I have it sitting next to my computer in my craft room that I see every single day. And it's my top three, my top three for every day. And each one um, has a different, I guess, category. So number one, has to do with my house. So something like a chore, laundry, dishes, uh, mopping, sweeping, something like that. The number two category is self-care. So paint toenails, take a bath, take a walk, um, you know, do a face mask. And then number three has to do with family, whether it's play games, watch a movie, um, you know, hang, do a craft with my daughter, things like that. And these are my top three every single day. I make sure these three things get done no matter what. And it's just a great reminder I love having it sit right next to computer and there it is all done and I'm just using some book page notepad paper just to write it out to make it a little more festive. And there you have it for DIYs using my stash. Let me know down below again which one of these was your favorite. Also, I am wearing my Garth Brooks concert t-shirt because I love Garth Brooks. If you like Garth Brooks, drop down below what your favorite song is of his. And a bunch of my DIY YouTuber friends are also putting out these type videos. So as they do, I'm gonna be updating my description box with some of their videos. So bookmark this video, do what you need to, keep an eye on the description box. I will definitely put in, be putting more DIY ideas down there for you. I hope you guys are doing well, staying healthy, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!